All right, good. Um, so uh, I just want to give an overview of the program and then also uh, mostly talk about our seniors uh, exhibition, which is live. Um, I'll post the link in, um, in the chat right now if you want to take a look. Um, and I'll also walk through briefly uh, the exhibition. Um, so it's visualartintech.net. That's our seniors uh, capstone exhibition. Um, we kind of moved quickly on a dime from preparing to have a physical show and then transitioning that and translating that work to an online uh, format. Um, but really quickly, um, let me just share my screen here. And just want to talk about uh, the visual art and tech program. Um, and just how we're a little different than other art programs. Um, so within the visual art technology program, we have um, uh, four different concentrations. We have creative computation that's working with code, art, and design. Um, we also have a design concentration. Um, that's everything from uh, physical printed layout to website design, to object design, to product design, um, web and graphic design. We have game design that's working with game engines, uh, but that's also um, focused on like physical, say like uh, building a, um, uh, a game board um, or a, cards, uh, a card game. Uh, but a lot of that is in software, um, creating playable art games, everything from like small studio games to uh, uh, building bigger sort of like AAA games. Um, and then also we have moving image, and this is a new concentration within the art and tech program. We had uh, prior, we had video and we had animation concentrations, and we merged those into what's now moving image to also include things like virtual reality, augmented reality, uh, interactive design, motion graphics. Um, that really encapsulates, I think, what is we would think of as like a current way of dealing with anything that's moving image based. Let me just pull up the chat here if I have any questions. Great. Um, so then uh, we're a little different because you know we have a core foundation uh, that is very similar to like a fine arts program. So you're coming in doing uh, foundations, 2D, 3D, uh, a lot of drawing classes. The foundational elements are very similar to a fine art program. Um, but then we're really shifting and dealing with um, technology tools uh, in, in a different way, uh, in different contexts that are very art conceptual driven. Um, so we're, we're a real kind of mix between fine art and what we would say like digital or the new media art uh, would be. And the tech is really just the tool that we use to express those things. Um, great, so I don't have a ton of time here, but I do wanna show you our uh, exhibition and hopefully you'll have some time to walk through it. Um, so our site here, again, it's visualartandtech.net, and the show is Line of Sight, Line of Sight, from wherever you are. Um, and we have 13 different projects. Uh, we have uh, 11 art majors, and then we have, um, oh, sorry, 10 art majors here. And then we also have um, Dalton Newman, who is a double major art and also music. Um, Tom Bloxham, who is a music major, but was also building and working with us to create a, a more interactive uh, installation. And then also Julie uh, McElDoon, who is a mechanical engineer major, who has been a minor with art and also uh, was creating a, um, a more creative uh, project uh, this semester with us. So um, just kind of clicking through some of these really quick and I hope you can spend some time and make your way through it. Um, this is Kit uh, in touch, who created a short film called Mortar Limbo. Uh, it's about a half hour short film. Uh, we have Gaetano Jones, who's creating um, augmented reality masks um, uh, that he wears. And he has a short video here that he's sort of using those masks to perform. Uh, and talk about um, multicultural, multi-identity, um, and then also those masks are able to be downloaded and you can use them yourself, um, I believe, on Snapchat. Uh, 
So we have a really wide range of projects. Uh, Kyla Barry, uh, her project is um, a Chrome extension that lets you explore um, how your data is kind of processed through algorithms. So the Chrome extension kind of embeds itself onto any website that you're on and it'll give you these little kind of bees that you can click on to get information about how your information is being used. Um, Duan Kirk is creating um, portraits of black men along with uh, these, this album that is interviews with them, um, talking about their identity, talking about um, uh, uh, what brings them pride and strength and contentment um, and sort of the um, difficulties that they've gone through uh, in their life. And those are each paired with uh, portraits uh, of those men. So you can hear them speak and also see uh, the portraits that Duan created alongside them. Um, there's a real wide range of projects and I, I don't want to click through all of them really quick uh, right now, but um, just really quick, Allison um, has created a tactile way of sort of highlighting um, certain disabilities and accessibility to content. Um, Anastasia Wingate has created um, uh, a series of illustrations and animations dealing with her uh, own identity. Um, and Nicole Fallon is addressing um, plastic and recycling uh, through an interactive website. Dalton Newman created an immersive environment, um, originally kind of built for VR, but now it's a playable game you can download. Um, Tom Bloxham created a 10 speaker uh, um, composition uh, along with a video that goes with that to give you like a spatial quality to that composition. Uh, Julie McElhoon created a uh, these objects that capture her friend's heartbeats and kind of uh, she's using those as a way to kind of give herself a connection to them even if they're not with her. Um, Cassandra Gonzalez created a series of illustrations dealing with a, her identity and uh, Joshua Bardsley created a, uh, uh, a website with uh, some a musical score to it and a, a video sort of addressing like early 90s internet culture. So maybe I have a little time if there's any questions. Um, but really the best way to experience this is just go on the website, spend some time with it, make your way through the projects. <laughs>